mentioned earlier, this is the second time today, Devin and Sharice, that a woman had, and who was also had children in the car has been shot. Now, earlier today at around one o'clock, I was also there when a young woman was just outside her house when she was gunned down. Her two-year-old son was in the back seat and witnessed that entire scene. This is what happened earlier today. Take a listen. Her father, Lionel Simmons, spoke to me on the phone just hours after losing his daughter. We're not coping. We just existed right now. 33-year-old Sally Simmons had her whole life ahead of her and a son to raise. And she was a fabulous young woman, a, a great mother to a child, and she had her whole future in front of her. A witness says he saw the shooter do a U-turn at North Broad and Orleans Avenue, then shot at Sully's car, which was parked out the front of this blue house. What I saw was basically a car drive by and uh, shoot somebody in a vehicle, and uh, a little girl was, or a little boy, I believe it was, uh, was sitting in the back seat, and uh, just someone getting killed outside of the store. It's very tragic, very. And it's sad to see something like this happen around here. New Orleans police say the shooting happened just before 1 p.m. Our video shows eight bullets were fired into the car. One of those bullets possibly hitting the back passenger side window where the two-year-old was sitting. The toddler miraculously was not harmed. Upon arriving on scene, officers found a female in a vehicle shot multiple times. The female was transported by New Orleans EMS to University Hospital, where unfortunately she succumbed to her injuries. Video circulating on social media shows the aftermath of the shooting. It was too graphic for us to show. Lionel Simmons sees it's the second time tragedy has struck his family. You've lost two daughters to gun violence. Two, two daughters to gun violence, exactly. In 2009, his 20-year-old daughter, Cody Simmons, lost her life to gun violence. Today was Cody's birthday. This morning, Sully visited her sister's gravesite to pay tribute. Hours later, her life was also taken. The closest. They mm. were almost, they looked like twins. Mm. They were twins. Lionel finished our interview with this last thing. Leave town. That's what I mm. wish that she would have done, yeah. Devin and Sharice, two very sad stories this evening, but to reiterate, we do not know the conditions of the three people, the woman and the two children in this car here at this intersection this evening. But for continued updates, you can head to the WWL TV website or download the app. Reporting live, Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News.